It was always going to be a challenge for Jurgen Klopp to replicate the incredible season his Liverpool side enjoyed last season. Despite finishing fourth in the Premier League, the Reds' campaign was underpinned by their amazing run to the Champions League final. Real Madrid proved too good in Kiev, though, claiming their third straight title via a relatively comfortable 3-1 victory. While some teams can fall into a slump after exceeding expectations the season prior, Liverpool have shown no sign of doing so. Klopp has watched his men take 26 Premier League points from a possible 30 so far enough to put them second behind Manchester City on goal difference. What's more, Liverpool's only two defeats in 2018-19 were a League Cup tie against Chelsea and away to Napoli in the Champions League. It goes without saying the Anfield faithful can only be pleased with the current state of the affairs. After investing over £160 million and adding Alisson, Naby Keita, Fabinho, and certain Shakiri to his squad, Klopp must be feeling some degree of relief too. But with the Premier League title race shaping up to be one of the tightest in years, will Liverpool need to spend big in winter to keep pace with the frontrunners? Well, Klopp has had a say two months out from the January transfer window. If crazy things happen then maybe we have to think new, but I don't expect that, Klopp said, per the Liverpool echo. At the moment it doesn't look like we will be too busy, but it all depends on injuries and things like that. In the moment we have each position twice, three times and sometimes four times covered. We have all that we need. Our job now is to use the quality that we have and to work with it because one player doesn't change it. Liverpool are in a stronger position than this time last season, but what's their fans' take on potentially seeing me out the campaign with the exact same squad they began with? Here's what they had to say, it's clear there are mixed feelings among the Anfield faithful. Liverpool do boast one of the best squads in the country on paper, but do they have enough to go the distance? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment 